Hey everybody, C from Ron Wheel here for the Job Bounce System. Um, as many of you have seen, I've been putting up for the last so many weeks and a few months now uh, my drills for small spaces series. And again, what that is, is a chance for you to, uh, and for me, to expand my horizons, test my skill, test my ability, um, and improve that um, by doing various drills and exercises with both the spear, the staff, and some with the saber um, over the uh, winter season. And with COVID going on, a lot of schools are closed, a lot of gyms are closed, a lot of schools are just opening up or doing virtual classes. But if you don't have time to do that or you're afraid to do that, these drills will help you out. They will really sustain your, your, your training keep you up to date, keep you on point, make sure the things don't get sour. So with that said, I wanted to show you a drill uh, incorporating both shaking and floating. Um, shaking and floating is exercises that we use and we teach within Chinese martial arts to help strengthen the wrist and develop power in our strikes, both with the weapon and without. So I'm going to show you a drill. I'm just going to do the one hand, my right hand, um, but I'm going to show you the drill and I'm going to post it up later and I will do a very short version without commentary uh, on Instagram, all right? So I'm gonna use my long pole, which is seven feet. My ceiling, I know you can't see me touching, but my ceiling is seven and a half feet, so it's not that high. So as you see, working within my apartment, the challenges I have, but you can overcome these challenges also. All right, starting from your horse stance, you're gonna grip the staff. I'm gonna use my staff. You can use the spear also, but I'm gonna grip at the butt end all the way down to the back. Go from your horse stance. We always want to train our horse. Foundational work is always important. And you're going to take the, the exercise that I did, the floating exercise that's done in three parts, which is out to the side, center, and then out to the side, the turning in your bow and arrow stance or ding jima wedge stance. And then come back to your horse and add single hand shaking. All right, so from here, you're going to start in the center. Turn your hand out to the side, keeping the pole level and parallel to the floor on the ground, rotate back. Then extend your hand straight forward, again rotating as if you're throwing a punch. Come back, turn out to the side again, but shift into your bow. Come back center to your horse, shaking one time. So again, four moves. So it's one, two, three, four. And again, exercises like this are great if you don't have a lot of time um, during the course of the day. If you've only got 30, 40 minutes to train, um, that's good. Get it in. But this will help with that. All right, guys? If you have any questions, just hit me up. You know how to reach me. Those of you looking to reach me, and I will respond back. All right?